What is happening, everybody? This is the Big Jew. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. No magic run. Alright, so we're here in Cosmo Canyon. Let's see Bugenhagen, see what we can do to stop Meteor. Since, you know, ramming a rocket into it uh, didn't help at all. I think there's some other items you can get here, if I'm not mistaken. Let me try and look for them real quick. Mix all we're doing is just talking to Bugenhagen. You know how that guy likes to talk. Hell, last time we saw him, he lectured us twice. He was traveling with us the second time. I think there's some stuff here we can get, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Nope. Oh, is this a Turtle's Paradise thing? It is. Huh. Interesting. I didn't know that it was there. I forgot all about that. I think we can get some more material or something, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, it could be just speculation. Yeah, I think I'm... No, there is. There is. I think it's available on disc 3, though, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong. It could be available right now. I could just be looking in the wrong place, but whatever. A lot of stuff happens after the whole... after Cloud recovers from Mako poisoning. So you just gotta, you just gotta look, be patient. Let's see, uh, nope. What is this? Oh, items. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Whatever, buddy. Let's see, I know that there's something. Maybe it's up here? I don't know. Let's look. Can't hurt to look, right? Nope, there's nothing here. Nothing yet. Gotta wait till disc 3. I thought it would be here now, but apparently not. Apparently that treasure I'm talking about... Not available yet. That's okay. So let's head over to Bugenhagen. See what kind of lectures he has for us this time around. There we go. In here. What the hell's wrong with the cloud? There we go. Well, what isn't wrong with them? <laughs> no, I think it's my PS3 controller. I did get it wet a while ago. Which wasn't good, but whatever. It should be working fine, though. Uh, let's see, is it in here? Uh, yep, here you go. What's up, you good hogging? Yes, sir. That's why we came here, yep. Yeah, huh. There's always something in the deepest reaches of our hearts. Buried or something forgotten. Usually both. Mm. Yeah, true. Yeah. Huh. Whatever. Okay, Yuffie. Yeah, have people remember stuff for you. Okay. I guess we're calling everyone up and uh, have uh, bringing everyone else up here. Hmm. Yeah, Aerith. Yeah, you haven't remembered. You haven't forgotten. That's not it. How'd you say it, Aerith? Was right there. Huh. Okay. Ah, yeah, we're never gonna be able to see. We're never gonna be able to the promised land, right? That's what it is. Ah, interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Sid. Oh, Sid, you and your science. Alright then, yeah. So, yeah, you pretty much have a... We're pretty much going to put the huge materia inside of Bugenhagen's uh, planetarium. And um, whenever you master uh, every color of huge materia, 
you'll get a master material of that color and you'll pretty much have all the abilities associated with that color. So. And if you search this blue one, you get the almighty wait for it <laughs> of course it's going to do this little grand entrance here the Bahamut Zero material, second best material in the game so yeah alright, yeah, let's go back down for now yeah. okay, cool we don't have one for purple material for some reason, I don't know why that is, but whatever Huh, <laughs> smells like machinery. Oh god. Jeez. Good god you talk a lot, man. Alright, so yeah, we pretty much have to go back to the uh City of the Ancients. So let's do that. Let's go ahead. Okay. Oh, no way. That sucks. Yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep, that's probably what she was thinking about. Hmm. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Ha. Of course it did, Sid. Aww. <laughs> That's cute. Yep. Okay, Vincent. Yeah, you're done. Alright. So let's go ahead and uh, head over to the city of the ancients and see what we can find there. Pretty sure it's something special, but whatever. That's where Bugenhagen wants to go. That's where Bugenhagen wants to go. Oh, yeah. Remember this place for later. You can go there with the uh, submarine, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. I will, eventually, not now. And you can dig up some good stuff in Bone Village, also. Uh, similar to finding the Lunar Heart, you just gotta be really patient and find it. But I don't care about any of that. I care about going to the City of the Ancients. And hearing this amazing music again. Oh. That music. Let's see. Now let's just head forward here. Keep quiet in this awesome music. In between this and the music of, uh, of Memoria in uh, Final Fantasy IX, I don't think there's anything better. Although Memoria of Final Fantasy IX is better than this. But just barely better. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. Here we need to go to the other place. Whoops. <laughs> Yeah. I'm pretty happy there's no random enemies here. Imagine that. All this all this running down these like giant hallways and you'd have enemies to fight. That'd be pretty lame. I'm just saying. Alright, very good. I think we need to go here if I'm not mistaken. Some other way, I don't know. There's the path to the Corral Valley. Okay, but I don't care about that. I think we have to go here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there it is. Alright, we have to go over there, obviously. So it's the other way. So waste your time again. Awesome. It's not that bad. I mean, yeah, it's a long walk, but still, it's not that horrible. Anyways, I'm surprised we're this close. We're pretty close to the end right now. I mean, all we gotta do is just this thing, and then there's a couple of other things, and then it'll be, before we know it, it'll be the end of the game. And, uh, yeah, am I gonna do all the other side quests? I probably will. Uh, am I gonna fight the optional enemies? I might, but I'm probably going to be really over leveled for him, just because I don't really know how to beat him, stand, and you know, without leveling. So yeah. 
Yes, yes. Would you call the Rasha? Okay. Let's go see what he let's go see what he's let's go see what he found here. Yeah, what's it telling you? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's, it's, the time is now, okay? We got a meteor heading towards our planet. Pretty sure holy is a pretty good thing to counter it. Ah, oh, interesting. Oh, hmm. Meteor, weapon, everything will disappear. Everything. Uh, anything that's a threat to the planet, pretty much, yeah. Hmm. Oh. We're not bad. I mean, Sephiroth is just one individual. I mean, you know, not everybody's like Sephiroth. White materia, huh? Yeah. So that's uh, that's the materia that um, Aerith was talking about when uh, Cloud first met her. Yeah. It was that materia that it was good for absolutely nothing. Mm. Mm. Yeah. If only we caught her or something, but we didn't know. What, what, what? Look at what? This is a pretty cool scene, I'm not gonna lie. Check this out. Oh. Oh yeah, there it is, yeah, it's hieroglyphs. Below the right hand. Okay. Even sunlight can't reach key. Okay. Mm, probably. Okay. Hmm. Place where even sunlight ro won't reach is where the key is. Okay. Okay. Cool. When you find the key, or when you can't go any further, of course it means we have to find the key. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. Awesome. Okay. And of course we're gonna need the submarine for submarine for that. And we will look for the key and see exactly what that means. What will happen when we get the key? Next time on Final Fantasy VII, No Magic Run. This is the Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome, and sorry for this really boring-ass episode. Peace.